Hi, I am Mohan. In this video, let us discuss the pneumatic power system, which comes in fluid power system, module four. Okay, the syllabus contains introduction to pneumatic power system. Uh, in that introduction part, the basic components of pneumatic power system, advantages, limitations, applications, choice of working medium, characteristics of compressed air and the types of air compressor, structure of pneumatic control system and fluid conditioners, dryers and FRL unit. Okay, in the next concept, we're going to study the pneumatic actuator. Uh, again, there are two types of actuator. The first one is linear actuator, examples are cylinders. The second one is rotary actuators, examples are motors. Okay, in the last concept, we're going to study the pneumatic control valves. Again, there are three types of control valves. The first one is a directional control valve. The second one is a pressure control valve and the third one is a flow rate control valve that we are going to cover in the last chapter. Okay, now let us start with the introduction part that is pneumatic power system. Uh, pneumatic technology deals with the study of behavior and applications of compressed air in manufacturing automation. As the name indicates in the pneumatic power system, we are going to use air as a medium. Okay, from factory machines and on road drills to paint spraying robots and power tools, all kinds of everyday stuffs are rely on pneumatics only. Uh, actually, that pneumatic is a word which derived from the Greek word pneuma, meaning a breath or air. Pneumatic systems use air as the medium, which is abundantly available and can be exhausted into the atmosphere after the completion of the assigned task. Uh, any, not only air, any gas can be used in the pneumatic system, but uh, air is the most preferred for obvious reason uh, that it's easily available. Pure nitrogen may be used if there is a danger of combustion in a work environment. Okay, by using pneumatic control, maximum force of up to 50 kN and can be developed and a maximum pressure of uh, 6 to 10 bar can be uh, developed by using the pneumatic power system. Therefore, the pneumatic power systems are used for only the small size application, the smaller applications. Okay, next uh, let us study the components of pneumatic power system. Okay, you can see the diagram here. The major components are a filter. We have air compressor, air cooler, storage device, then controlling valve and actuator. Air filters uh, suck the air from the atmosphere and removes the unwanted particle which is present in the air. And then the pure form of air will be sent to the air compressor. Air compressor is run by the power supply or motor. In air compressor, the air gets compressed. During the process, uh, the pressure and temperature get increased. And then this high pressure uh, and during uh, compression, not only the pressure, temperature also increases. The temperature is reduced in air cooler. Then high pressure and medium temperature air will be stored in the storage devices. Then it will be sent to the actuator uh, whenever it is required by mean by using the directional control valve or pressure control valve or flow rate control valve again based on the requirement. Okay, then what are the functions of components and pneumatic system? The first one is air filter. Air filters are used to filter out the contaminants from the air. The second one is air cooler. Air coolers are used to reduce the temperature of the compressed air. Third one is compressor. Compressor is used to compress the fresh air drawn from the atmosphere. Uh, next, we have external power supplier motor, which is used to drive the compressor. Uh, storage reservoir is used to store a given volume of compressed air. Uh, next, we have control valves, which are used to control the direction, flow rate, or pressure. As I said, uh, there are three types of control valve, DCV, directional control valve, pressure control valve, and flow rate control valve. Uh, and then next we have pneumatic actuator, which converts a fluid power into mechanical power. That is high compressed air, that is high pressured air to the mechanical power to perform some useful work. Then we need piping system. Uh, uh, that is uh, piping system helps in carrying the pressurized air from one location to another location. Okay, then what are the advantages of pneumatic system? The first one is high effectiveness. Why it is called high effectiveness? Because air is easily available in our atmosphere and that air can be compressed and that compressed air can be 
uh, transported from one location to another location by means of pipes. Okay, because of this reason, we're going to call pneumatic system as high effectiveness, then high durability and uh, high reliability. Pneumatic components are extremely durable and cannot be damaged easily uh, compared to the electromotive components or pneumatic components. A uh, third one is simple in design. Okay, these pneumatic systems are used to use for smaller and smaller application where the pressure range is only six bar to ten bar. Therefore, the design is very simple and the components are also uh, very simple. The designs of pneumatic components are relatively simple. They are the most suitable for using simple control system. Uh, the next advantage is high adaptability to harsh environment. That is the, the elements of these pneumatic systems are less affected by high temperature, dust and corrosion. And safety here, there is no problem of fire or explosion as the tough hydraulic system. Uh, therefore, we can call pneumatic system as safer. Uh, next is uh, easy selection of speed and pressure. Like uh, air can be compressed easily. Therefore, uh, we can vary the speed and pressure. Uh, next advantage is environmental friendly. This pneumatic power system does not cause any pollution. Uh, therefore, the pneumatic power system is environmental friendly. And the last one is economical. Since the pneumatic power system design is very simple and the components are not so expensive, the overall cost is uh, less. Uh, therefore, the pneumatic power system is uh, economical and the cost of repair is also lower uh, compared to other type of system. Then uh, pneumatic system also have some limitation. Uh, the first limitation or disadvantage is noise. The noise will be produced during the compression stage. Uh, and the second disadvantage is processing required before use because air may contain the unwanted particles that has to be removed before sending it to the compressor. Uh, therefore, the processing is required. Uh, third one is relatively low accuracy uh, compared to hydraulic system. Here, the accuracy is very low because we're going to use air and the pressure of the air is keeps on varying. Because of that reason, the accuracy is uh, uh, very less compared to hydraulic system. Low loading, these system are not capable of withstand high pressure. Uh, here, the pressure limitation is only six bar to 10 bar. Therefore, low loading capacity and uneven moving speed, as I said, air can easily compress. The pressure of the air keeps on varying as the piston reciprocates or in the, during the compression stage. Therefore, uneven moving speed is one of the disadvantage. What are the applications of pneumatic system? We're going to use pneumatic system in material handling application, uh, like uh, positioning of the workpiece in a workstation, clamping the workpiece, shifting the workpiece from one location to another location, branching of material flow, turning and inverting of parts in a working station, transfer of material from one workstation to another workstation, stacking of components, sort of parts, stamping and embossing. And uh, not only material handling application, we're going to use the pneumatic power system uh, in general applications. Examples in machine tools, in chemical plants, in coal mines, in aircraft, vehicle manufacturing, packaging industry, paper mills, and oil refineries. Okay, these are the applications of pneumatic system.